Thousands of people lined Kinsman Road in Cleveland today for a Labor Day parade organized by the 11th Congressional District Community Caucus. News 5's Michelle Jarbo was there as well, spoke with people about what Labor Day means to them. Families gathered here at Luke Easter Park to soak up the last bit of the summer. And they told us that on this Labor Day, there are lots of reasons to celebrate. From the sights, to the sounds, to the surprises, this Labor Day parade had plenty to offer. Getting candy and getting books and all the motorcycles. A half century old tradition on Cleveland's southeast side. The people are the most amazing thing about this parade, from the participants of over 250 to the citizens that line the street. With a procession of politicians led by Congresswoman Chantel Brown. This is how we kick off the campaign season, so I couldn't be more excited to be here today. Happy Labor Day! Marjorie Chambers used to be one of those kids watching from the curb. Since I was a little girl, before I can even remember, I used to sit on the corner, 142nd. Now she's a labor leader, a retired automotive worker driving a campaign. I wanted to make sure we brought labor back to the Labor Day Parade. A movement that's smaller than it used to be, but resurgent, she says. I've seen the decline, but now we're on the uptick. Trying to recruit the next generation from neighborhoods like this. When I heard and they said my first job, I didn't even know what UAW was. But she found a career at General Motors as a tool and die maker. They said United Auto Workers, and I said I like the way that sounds, United Auto Worker. And I've been one ever since, so. Wanda Wilkes was glad to see that union presence on the parade route. If we didn't have organized labor, we may not have all the jobs that we have. She's been a member of the Cleveland Teachers Union for 22 years. Solidarity, we're all together. Um, working for one goal to educate our students. Kids who, on Monday at least, were taking a break from school to enjoy the sunshine and the spectacle. And what do you like about the parade? I get all candy. You getting, getting all the candy? Come yeah. back candy. A serious message wrapped in a bit of sweetness. In Cleveland, Michelle Jarbo, News 5. Parade lasted two hours. It uh, wrapped up at Luke Easter Park, along with highlighting organized labor. That event uh, included a heavy emphasis on voting as well. The voter registration deadline for the November election, October 7th. You've got just over a month.